Transporting metal to the moon is difficult and expensive. Fortunately, the moon's surface is rich in iron. But how can we put that metal to work? Enter carbonyl iron refining. Our CIR2 chamber concept design takes reduced regolith and outputs a fine, hybridy iron powder product. In the formation chamber, a high carbon monoxide partial pressure favors the formation of iron pentacarbonyl gas. The iron-bearing gas is carried into a second, low-pressure chamber where the gas undergoes thermal decomposition into a metal product. The carbon monoxide is pumped back into the formation chamber for immediate reuse. The apparatus works in conjunction with an oxygen harvesting reduction step or can reduce the regolith itself. The iron powder exhibits excellent size and morphology characteristics for use in metal additive manufacturing. The particles can also be grown large to facilitate traditional casting. Later on, the apparatus doubles as a carburization chamber to surface hardened, finished parts. The industry produces carbonyl iron at pressures above 200 atm. This is not practical for lunar deployment. However, with a modest reduction in formation temperature, adequate formation is predicted at 60 atmospheres or less. With the laboratory scale two chamber design, we will test formation kinetics on regolith stimulant under low temperature and pressure conditions. We will also analyze the characteristics of the iron powder, experiment with seed crystals and gas flow to control decomposition, and model how the heating and cooling systems would be optimized under lunar conditions. On behalf of the University of Utah Department of Metallurgical Engineering, our team looks forward to working with NASA toward establishing long-term human presence on the moon.